Agriculture plays an important role in Zimbabwe, where 70% of the population is dependent on farming for their livelihood. Yet post-harvest losses remain a major challenge to most smallholder farmers countrywide. Close to 30% of the harvested grain is lost due to lack of appropriate storage facilities, a predicament forcing farmers to sell most of their grain soon after harvesting at very low prices, leaving them poor and vulnerable. Responding to post-harvest challenges faced by farmers, the government of Zimbabwe, through its agricultural extension arms, the Departments of Agricultural Mechanization and the Department of Agricultural Technical and Extension Services, in partnership with the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations Zimbabwe, rolled out a project aimed at reducing dreaded post-harvest grain losses. Three types of improved grain storage technologies that suit different rural situations in the country were introduced. These are the metal silo, the improved brick granary and the hermetic grain storage bags. FAO itself uh, has been supporting uh, government uh, through the provision uh, of um, the equipment uh, that is necessary, including uh, the, the tin uh, that is required for, for making storage facilities, cement, bricks, uh, and so on. We provided transport. Uh, we also provided training, uh, training facilities. Uh, and we provided financial, uh, financial support. 83-year-old James Nyamayaro and his wife are farmers who live 60 kilometers east of Harare city in Goromonzi, a district known for its favorable farming. Over the years, they have been losing a substantial portion of their yields due to poor storage practices. The couple is among the first beneficiaries of the improved brick granaries that are much more effective for preserving grain. While Mr. Nyamayaro prides in his improved brick granary, a few kilometers down the bushy path lies the Taruvinga homestead, where the steel metal silos benefits are clear for all to see. Although the training taught them to place the steel metal silo under a shed, this couple has bumped it up a notch and managed to construct their silo inside their hut for security purposes. Apart from the steel silo and the improved granary, smallholder farmers were introduced to yet another technological advancement, the hermetic grain storage bags. The bag was found to be well suited for small holders with lower production capacities as it is also much more affordable. Petronella and her three children occupy one wing of their house while the other wing is used as a storage facility for her grain. During the packaging process, she seals the bag, eliminating air movements thus keeping pests at bay. In this close-knit community, good news travels fast. Constance, a young farmer and mother of two, had a good harvest this year, but she did not have proper grain storage facilities. When she heard about the new technology from her neighbors, 
Constance did not take any chances and hired local artisans to manufacture and erect a steel silo for her maize. A new project, new technology and adaptation needs have all made it necessary for some farmers to improvise on the technologies. Joshua was trained in the art of building brick silos. His own brick granary is however sitting a few centimeters lower than it should and the door opens outwards, a departure from the norm. So the project selected uh, four, it was, uh, four provinces out of the eight and within the four provinces we took uh, two district provinces. But uh, the, the, the trick really is on uh, proper grain management. In terms of, you have to know when to load the, you have to know when to load your grain in the in the in the storage structure, be it the bags, be it the improved granary, uh, be it the silo. So those are some things that we are now teaching the farmers that if you, if you put your grain, at, uh, if you store your grain at, at, at 12, 12, 12 and a half percent moisture content, it's almost as it's, it's almost as as good as dead. It's not, it doesn't now perspire. The metal silo, brick granary and the hermetic grain storage bag have already proved to be effective. Many farmers have seen the benefits of the technologies, learning from the few selected beneficiaries targeted by the project. The project carried out intensive training of the farmers on the improvement to be undertaken in the post-harvest process. This is aimed at ensuring household and national food self-sufficiency as well as attaining food security in the country. We have also learned lessons. Uh, for example, the need uh, to involve uh, farmers as well as other stakeholders uh, as early in the project uh, as possible. Uh, the selection uh, of the beneficiary farmers that it has to be done um, in direct uh, with direct involvement of the communities, uh, for example, uh, that the training must be broad-based. Um, um, so uh, a number of lessons have been, have been learned, um, but the project, we believe, has been very successful uh, here in Zimbabwe, and we, we are thinking of upscaling it. Workshop. 